you must have been pretty pleased, you know, it, it, it was a sort of bit of a slow burner, you, but, but when you got going and got in, you had some really good performances. Yeah, it was. I was disappointed to miss out early season as sort of any, as any professional cricketer would be, but sort of, you got to just take it on the chin as it is and uh, then, yeah, just keep working hard, keep putting performances in and then hopefully your time comes, which it did against Australia and then, uh, yeah, lucky enough, I was able to take that opportunity, which stood me in uh, good stead for the rest of the year. I mean, clearly, that was a, a fantastic opportunity and, and what you really sees too in all the, uh, the the media were interested in their first big game of the tour and everything and to put in a good performance then that must be very satisfying yeah definitely it was something that I was sort of like when we saw the fixture came out uh, that it was going to be next year I was like oh yeah really want to play in that one it, obviously with the ashes around and yeah was, so yeah to get the call up I was very lucky and uh, yeah to take my opportunity like I did I was sort of I was quite surprised really but I sort of put the hard work in so I thought yeah I was Lucky enough, it, uh, the sort of luck was on my side, and uh, yeah, I managed to take five, which was very, very pleasing. From there on, things went pretty much as you'd hoped. Yeah, I managed to secure a place in the first team, and that's sort of the plan going forward now, just to sort of cement that sort of hopefully within all formats. But as much as I can, four-day stuff as much as I can, and then sort of white ball or 50-over stuff, I was uh, back end. I played a lot more, so. Yeah, that, that's the aim, to start next year in the first team and then sort of hold my spot there and sort of keep trying to progress from there. And you've been rewarded by a, a, a short burst in South Africa with the MCC. Yeah, you must be pleased by that. It's recognition and a, and a nice opportunity to go out and play some decent cricket. Yeah, definitely. It's a really good standard cricket with a lot of other professional cricketers on there. So, uh, yeah, I can't wait for that trip out to South Africa, which I've uh, never been to before as well, which is also nice to go out to Durban and then to Cape Town. But yeah, I can't wait for that. It should be an amazing trip. And, and um, in terms of getting experience, I guess, you know, you can't beat going and playing in other environments against other players. You know, it just broadens your whole sort of outlook and gives you a bit more experience. Yeah, definitely. It's, you sort of gain so much from going abroad, whether it is Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, where, or wherever you go in the world, you're always going to learn something because it's different conditions and different batsmen and sort of even different balls when you go away to Australia. and everything like that so yeah it's all it's all good stands you in good stead and sort of yeah for the progression it's what you need is every sort of young cricketer needs they need to go away to practice and hone their skills and yeah just get new experience under the belt